Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. This Apapa gridlock matter just will not go away. And we've been talking about it for years. The place will clear for two days and the third day you go there. And it's the same thing. I drove really? on a co-bridge yesterday and the trucks were there all the way to Costain. I mean... Well, they, 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 the last time they came, they told us about call-up system and they said it was working. And apparently the place was slightly free. Maybe it's now call-off. Oh, it's been called off again. <laughs> anyway, we have people here to talk about this with us yet again. And we shall pray that this is the last time we're going to talk about this, depending on what these people I have to report back to us. It's my pleasure indeed to welcome Prince Hassan Adekoya, who is chairman of the task force, Nigerian Association of Road Transport Owners, NATO. Good morning. Good morning. We also Thank have you for having me. Yeah. Uh, a trucker, Mr. D.K. Collins. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. For and having joining me. us virtually is um, Professor Samuel Odemum. He's a professor of transportation, Lagos State University. Hi, Prof. Oh, thank you. Oh. And, uh, I share your agony in lament that we are on this topic again and again and again. It's, um, it's agony. It's agony. It's agony. Thanks and for joining us, Prof. Lack of capacity or lack of will. Mm. Lack of capacity or lack of will, you said? Yeah, both what? combined. Okay, Prof. Let's find out from those who are actually involved why this thing is still happening. Well, we have two of them in the studio. Let me press that with Prince uh, Hassan Adekoya. Prince Hassan, why are those trucks still on the bridges in Lagos, please? Thank you for having me once more. Time. Um, as a burden, we are Nigerian Association of Road Transport owner. On behalf of my state chairman, Alaji Karadu, last week, we had to come out to have a peaceful protest. Uh, we are tired of the situation. And we also target the time to set the Apapa gridlock matter, to set it out straight. It's now. Apapa Tinkan Mile 2. Huh. We used to have it then digital, manual. Then now we say we want to go digital by the introduction of the ETO call up, the TTP truck transit park. Uh, thanks to Mr. Governor and um, the Fed, from the federal government as well as the state government to handle it. And the, the, the governor swing in to ensure he comes in fully. He, he dedicates all he had because we had several meetings with, with the governor. And he promised us that he's going to end the situation right now with the e-call-up system. We, we, had, um, we started the e-call-up system the first week and everywhere was cool and calm. We believed we have achieved what we are out to achieved. Suddenly, third, third week, the, the whole of the system go back to the way things used to be. Why? Because the law enforcement are not interested in ending this thing. It is artificial law enforcement. That is yes. a great indictment. It is artificial. When we had our Mr. President last week, before his visit, the road was free. The Commissioner for Transport also testified to that, and he said he was amazed to see that the road is free. A night before the president visit, the road was blocked. But the day he arrived, the road was free. Then when the minister president left, we have the scene back. DK. Okay, um, thank you for having me in here. Uh, I'm a transporter, I'm a trucker, and um, the problem is basically two things. Two things. And if you have to look at these two things, uh, what are they? The first is the government, the immediate government we have in the port system, which is the MPA. The MPA, they've been so inconsistent in their policies. They are, they, in fact, they are liable for double standards in the sense that they make policy today, tomorrow they will revert it because someone is to benefit on that. Or take for instance, uh, towards the beginning of the ATO, they told us that they won't allow ent empty boxes. Empty boxes, those uh, are... Sorry, what is ATO? ATO is the application, is the online application. We have, it's just like okay. a queue system. 
That's the one that, Online. that yes. organizes the, the e call up. Yes, the, organ that organizes the e call up and okay. documentation, okay. whatever. Online. Everything is online. So they told us that um, they, will, they will stop admitting empty container trucks into the ports through the road. You know? You should only bring them through the maybe barge or rail or whatever okay. means. Okay. And uh, before you know what was happening, they changed the policy all of a sudden and started admitting empty containers. By road. By road. Now we asked them why. They said they changed their policy. Okay that they want to start admitting empty containers, probably maybe during a particular period of time. And we said, it's no problem. Now, we noticed that this empty container is, is just like a, a cabal or whatever. I don't know. Because you see that they gave them the kind of priority. They have direct access, unrestricted flow into the port. Why suspending export loading containers into a pregate? What is a pregate? A pregate is like a, a park where you have to assemble before you have direct access to the port. They suspended uh, export containers into the pregate. And when you enter this pregate, for you to come out from the pregate and assess the port, it has to, you have to pass some areas, some rigorous places, whereby you will be stopped by the enforcement team. Sometimes they will bring some other trucks to join at those lines. Who they, are they will they? pay. The enforcement teams. The enforcement teams are made up of leg, uh, police, the LASMA, the FRSC, and under that bridge, we have the presence of navies, Nigerian Navy, disturbing the movement of export laden trucks. So, Prince, are they the ones you were referring, referring to? I am referring direct to the NPA. They are the lawmakers. Ah, okay. They come up with different kind of policies, dubious policies. Okay. Now, Professor, um, why do you think that this question of this APAPA uh, matter has been simply intractable? We've been talking about this thing now for about four or five years, and we still have and, the uh, same problem. Yeah. Well, before I answer, please let me do three call-outs. I call out on the minister that it is time to whip the big stick. We cannot have an economy that is dying. And the only uh, silver girls that is bringing food in to our body system, that is a proper port, is being choked by some selfish individuals. Their incompetence, the rate corruption, or be it whatever. We cannot continue to describe this problem. We have to clear it. And I'm glad the minister has recognized this problem because two issues, when the president came, the road was free. He himself was um, surprised or flabbergasted, if you want to, maybe to use that word. That how can this thing clear in a day, whatever method you use to clear it, can't we really use it to, in a sustainable manner? And when the presidential task force came, they did some magics. And the thing could not be sustained, immediately they left. Now, so I call on the minister, now that he has recognized the problem, he has seen the lights on the road to Damascus. Let him win the big stick in the interest of this nation. If that is one thing he could do, that is something when you do, the country will bring a sign of relief. We are borrowing money all over the world because we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we cannot think of creative way of getting our economy functioning, and our economy cannot function. Because as long as you cannot export, you cannot make money. So that is not the first call out. The second call out is to the Lagos State Government. Mr. Governor, sir, part of your campaign is that you will clear a Papa Green Lock in 90 days. Don't be need on your, uh, you, you've been smart everywhere in Lagos. How? Can you just surrender and raise up your hand in, is it in frustration? Is it in lack of capacity? Is it in lack of will? Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, you said you will call out with their names and shame them. We have not had that since. Call out name and shame because in the end, it is your, your backyard that is having the problem. And if you solve it also, you are solving it for the nation. 
you must bring your anas, your energy, your intelligence, your goodwill. If you have to sleep at the front door of Mr. President to clear this problem, it is not the the number one problem that the nation needs from you. The third person is Mr. President himself. If he is fighting corruption in areas and in reverse, and corruption is working on all fronts, on all fronts, naked in a papa, and we are all saying it, and he cannot do anything about it. So does he want to leave this to the next coming government for not starting probe, starting the uh, tribunal, then chasing the FCC, chasing the rat as and enter the jungle? We plead with Mr. President. Please, we have corruption is working around in a papa. Just demonstrates your fight against corruption number one in the country that is light walking around and visible very big as big as an elephant and walking majestically at the port that's just for the call out yeah now, yeah for the problem right. Prof, <laughs> just one moment um there was something you said you know that you, when you were calling out the minister of uh, transportation and i'm just wondering What's the big stick that you would recommend that the minister should use? Number one, the terminal operators has to be given a mandate. They need to be, to be told, we are, we are going to give you a, a mandate that minimum you must clear 800 uh, containers every day. In fact, the APMT, because it's the one that is in charge of uh, containers handling. Dangote has no problem, Fabi has no problem, Think Kabilagi has no problem, but APMT handling the, the, the containers needs to be given a deadline and say, look, if you cannot clear on a turnaround basis 800 per day, and we will come and check your data at the end of a week, if you cannot do that, you cannot serve this nation. Mm. Give them a quick notice. And the price for a new person that has the capacity to run, mm. let us pay the price. And even the trucker said, look, we are ready to pay MTM off. I remember when I was a lecturer at uh, MBA, the, the, the MBA student said, this lecturer we don't like. We will pay him his uh, honorarium for teaching us. Is it 150? But we want another lecturer to teach us because we want the knowledge. If MTM -TM cannot handle that deadline, that benchmark, then I said, look, you, can, you are not fit for the country. So that is the first big, big stick. But the second big stick is the call out. The ATO system has become a test system. It is now corrupted. It is lack of whether the application itself is bad, but as you know, sometimes even the application is good. The administrators can get to the back end and continue to, because there is no application that, that has no uh, control from anywhere, because you have to manage it anyway. If it is the administrators that are interfering, not just the application, then the ATO system needs to be given a quick notice. Mm. Because we don't want to hear it breaks down today like a Biku, it wakes up tomorrow, all those collapses and uh, dying and waking up, coma and... Uh, but Prof, Prof, you also heard... In calling, up, uh, calling out the president, uh, Mr. Governor, and Mr. President, um, you also heard that studio guests call out the NPA. Isn't the NPA in your own, uh, in your own, or in your, uh, as, as far as you're concerned, NPA the NPA is... I don't call the, the, the minister, you know, the, the uh, and this I was east house to look at the system. The NPA is part of it, but because they've been identified and then the head removed the hall, has to step aside, so they, they, that, that tells me that's why they don't have them, although they are there, they are part of it, but they are under the big stick already, they are flogging the NPA already, I don't know what will come out of the, the, the flogging they are doing to them. Okay, um, we, we will come back to this conversation after this short break. We'll bring it back to the studio. Stay with us. Thank you.
party on the by one a.m. So they say as could not go, that got an order. The Niger was on block. On order from who? I don't know. Hey, the people on duty last night. Okay. They say could not go. That they should be on the line. That they should be on the line. So my job, I just want to come from my job. About one hour ago, they want to tow him. That they've started beating them. I said, why? That they didn't tell them it's on money. He said he did. But on getting here, you have injured one driver. So it's very good to jump out. So they were not saying the, the truck was not from money uh, from Lilipon. No. So I asked them, is it on them uh, Lilipon that is on the transport? No. Explain how you did your booking. On second, I was trying to book again. So Lilipon was rejected. So I went to the Eto customer care and Lilipon. Now why can't I forget my truck to Lilipon? They said they are not receiving transport for now. I said, okay, where should I take it to? They said, now. Nah. Which Eto customer care told me that? So I put, I put the brigade to now. I took the truck there. The truck was then. Since on the 2nd, on the 3rd of June, they released him on From the now. manifest. On the 15th, even at the journal sippers, they collected 10,000, 15,000, all the uh, police on the bridge. They collected 10,000 before I could get here. Got in at 1 a.m. this morning. They said there is order from uh, this thing. Niger was shut down. That's what could not go down. They should be on the line. So my truck was on the line. Now they've told my truck. Sorry. What did happen for this truck wave break and fall inside this gutter line? Not them. Not the last month. That the last one people that don't control the motor. When it happens, they're not and they're here. Which when, time? When? Time. It's that, uh, uh, about 30 minutes ago. About 30 minutes yes. ago. Yes. Are they here? You? Uh -huh. They're not around. Where you there? Wait, where you there? Me, I yeah, didn't inside the motor. I didn't go online. 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 Yes. For export line. Yes. Export. Yes. 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 So when do you mean they can carry the motor for your hand? Okay, then come into and say, make a give them the motor. I say, no, how could you give me my motor? That's why they begin to beat me, they drag me. So I start the motor, the motor they see. So they come carry the key, turn them back, they want to open the motor. The motor know they open the key, now down. So I see them plenty, one come put them for gear, that's why the motor. So I want to try to control the motor, they don't allow me to see my hand, they hold me. Where your where your color paper? My color paper is my symbol. You are in front of the door. I need you for that. Yeah, you front the From which time? From from where you come from? From where you come from? From where you come from? From Lilipan. So what did I come tell you now? They don't talk anything against them in the five way, but many go five way, we hide the motor car, but nobody, nobody can throw the motor now. They say they go buy a car, they say they go buy a car for the best, and they go sell. They do now. They go buy a car for the best. Okay, what is all I do? Where are I don't know how to They don't say they don't I am here. I am here. I am here. I follow them. They jack me for chair. They say they don't go beat me for year. I have two motors that they carry. What do they carry? What do they carry? What do they carry? What do they carry? Musa. Musa. What do you mean? 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 You don't know your plate number. You don't know your plate number. You don't know your plate number. APP. So where you from? Where you guys from? Where they party from? Where they party from? Yesterday night.
Thank you for staying with us. Very interesting clip there, even though I didn't understand half what was going on. <laughs> Very fine documentation, barcode and everything. But uh, Prince, can you, there was plenty of confusion right there. Please, can you decipher to us what was happening there? Thank you. All of these trucks are on ETO column. Okay. We have another thing called As manifest. we saw, we saw the yeah. ETO document. Then MPN came up with another policy. You have to be on manifests apart from the ETO column. Okay. So now, the... Sorry, sorry. Just, just so my head doesn't bust. Who's in charge of ETO? Who is in charge of the... Uh, is it different from what the NPA is in charge of? MP are still in charge of the ETO. Therefore, if you are called up, your name should be on the manifest. Yes. Then okay. the ETO MP approves you. Yes. To assess the port. We have your barcode at the port. Okay. Which, you, you which we up. saw. Yeah. Automatically, the gate is going to be is automated. Mm -hmm. You have access in. Okay. But now, what happened there? Those trucks are on the right line, approaching MPA gate. Then we saw some woodlumps. They just came in. They started harassing the driver, dragging them down, driving away the trucks, not towing. They are not blocking the road. Then when I had that information... I quickly sent a message across to the um, chairman in charge of the committee, one of the committee set up by um, the committee on charge of the road. And he said to me, uh, it was the truckers that called him to come and drive away, to come and take away the trucks. And I said, who are the truckers? But he, he, he was there legitimately. He had documentation the, yes. proving that he was, he was where he was supposed to be. Yes, ma'am. And then someone called, and... Someone says it should be driven away. Yes. I'm, I'm really confused right now. Is this, is that, you, you want to say something to yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, actually, what he said is correct. Uh, but what happened was that these guys, you know, how this thing works is that they will do their normal business at night. Imagine. Which guys? The security agencies, the enforcement teams. What do they actually do? Those trucks that are not on the call up that are not on it to system, uh -huh. per se, uh -huh. they will allow them to have unrestricted access, and they will pay, as you had the lady say, they will pay. Some points, they collect 10,000. Some points, they collect 20,000. Pay to who? Pay to the security agents. They use proxies to collect the money. But, DK, DK, okay. DK, we have just established that when you are on ITO, your name is on a manifest. So these guys who are not on ITO, who come along and are allowed in. Their names are not on the manifest, so they shouldn't be allowed in. I assume that this, this documentation tallies all the way into the port, at various points, right into the port. Exactly. So if they break into, if they shunt on that queue, when they get to the next point, their name will not be on the manifest. So how will they be allowed past that point? Their names, they pay again? Their names are not on the manifest, but they have monies in their pockets. So at every point, they pay? They pay in cash. They pay in cash. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., anytime. Even as we speak, they pay in cash. I can mention the different points. CFAX, Total, Area B, Eleganza, every point they pay. Is, now, this, is this gone? Go now, when they start collecting, these are huge money for them. Huge money. They will do anything to sustain it. Now, when they keep doing this thing at night, now the legitimate people that are supposed to be on the line coming from Lily Pond, mm -hmm. because it's a zigzag rule, when they eventually come up to join the line, they will frustrate them because they know that those ones will not pay because they did the normal thing. Now, these drivers, they came from the normal process. They came with their documentation, but these guys, they don't care. They'll just say, you, 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 why are you here? They just drag away your truck and throw away your truck. That's why they were complaining. So, it's so who should get order into this system now? MPA? MPA is in position to get order into the system because MPA is in control of it too. There was a time MPA stopped export containers from accessing the port for about three weeks. And I called it to oh. people. They said it was coming from MPA. I said, what was the letter to that effect? I never got any. So you see that MPA is like in a situation whereby they can just wake up and make a call and say, hey, you stop this particular set. For somebody to stop an export-laden container in this country for three weeks, 
The effect was there were containers everywhere around the Bafo, Mowe Bafo, Shagamu, everywhere, export loading containers. And some of them will be carrying food stuff, which, will, exactly. which, which will perish before. Well, ah. Prof, um, you, you've heard and you have seen um, that video clip. First of all, um, uh, yes, you have called out a number of people, um, the Minister of uh, Transportation, the Governor, Governor of Lagos State President. and the President of Nigeria. Seeing this video, how does it strike you? And also, you may want to reference it with what um, Mr. Collins has said in the studio as well. Let me say something, Yoruba. I will translate it um, roughly. They say, Anki, professor or a teacher. That means we are praising and we are singing about this dead person that he has big farmland and his yam is so big and his cons are so fat. You are now asking, is he a professor or a journalist? What we are saying is what those people said in the studio when I said earlier that the corruption is working on all fours on the streets. He has mentioned the checkpoint. How can a government that is fighting corruption not just go there and catch them live? That is the just number one problem. And how we are ignoring that it beats my imagination. Except as they say. They are returning, there are returns that is going up the pyramid. And I have a feeling um, the Burani, this will not get to Buhari. Now, so my, my, with what they said, the common system is that when you are on queue, coming, if you listen to what they said, that's, that's something we should cry about. That export product was suspended in a country that has had currency issues. This is a huge cause. And as long as we continue in this uh, iniquity, we will continue to suffer. Not because God is making us suffer, but because when you are foolish, you deserve to... The, the suffering is to make you wake up. But if you don't wake up, you just die with your foolishness. The money where we can make hard currency dollars, we suspended exports. I mean, is the country listening? Are we listening? And they said they did it to collecting billions to do the app. That look, it is your time to come. Now, those that you come will be prevented, as in this case, and those that should not be on queue, they will pay a good deal of 20 to 25,000 naira overnight, and they are the one on queue. What does it take to catch them red and red? What does it take to show examples? Look, just as you are frustrated about discussing a papa, I'm just getting, honestly, I don't know whether I will attend the next discussion, because this is so obvious, this is so apparent, that our foolishness has no part two. Do you process. think, Prof, just my, my apologies, <laughs> do you think um, the fact that a, a, the Aquaqua Post is, uh, has two tiers of control is a problem. Like, I'm saying the federal government has authority, the state government has authority. Clearly, you know, from what we have heard about the MP and all of that, it would seem like the federal government is unable to really handle the issue. So even with the intervention of Lagos State Government, Lagos State Government can only do as much because of its limits, according to the Constitution, of what, uh, who controls activities at the ports and all of that. So do you see a situation where a full control of the ports uh, by the Lagos State Government would help? No, that's not it. Now, that may help, but that's a long shot. Uh, dry dog is good, but it will take time to, for you to get it dry. If you want to go that route again, that will take us a long time. The one that the minister has ad ad identified, this is a problem, and I agree with him 100% that the terminal operator, look, let me tell you this, story, this issue. 
when people are not traffic professionals, when they get into a hold up and they want to, they will say, we saw this hold up, and when we get to the end of it, there is nothing because they don't understand what you call bottleneck phenomena in transport. If a lane is three and each lane is discharging 20 vehicles per minute, it means that lane is discharging 60. Now, when the, the bread seller takes one, the, the yellow buses takes the other, 40 is shut down. Only 20 we go, the 40 we go into backlog immediately. That is what is happening. If a door is a bottleneck, you have to clear that bottleneck. Now, the, the door, sorry, not the door, the APM terminal handling the, the, the containers, they are not able to discharge the coming in. You know, like a cute theory, when they are coming in, you should be able to discharge them and let them get out of the of the roller. Okay, now, thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. We, we've run out of time, but we have to take the last word from the two gentlemen in the studio. Your last word, please, in half a, half, half a second. My last word? Yes. Is for what Mr. should we do now? Where do we go? I would like to appreciate Mr. Governor for his um, effort to ensure he ends this. But now, we have to go back to the drawing board and put it right. That is the way out. And you're talking to MPA here? Yes, Mr. DK. Okay, what I, what I have to say is that uh, the MPA and the enforcement teams, they have to be genuine intentioned. They have to come out clear to be able to provide solution. Thank, thank you very much. We have been talking with uh, Dr. Professor Samuel Odeum, the Professor of Transportation at the Lagos State University, as well as uh, Prince Hassan Adekoya, Chairman, Nigerian Association of Road Transport Owners, NATO Task Force, as well as Mr. D.K. Collins, who is a trucker. Thank you very much. It's in our general interest to, to just sort out this Apapa gridlock once and for all, because I feel sorry for those who live in that axis and those Honestly, who do business yes. in that axis, whose businesses have all died. Mm. So Sunrise will continue with another interesting conversation in just a moment. Stay with us. <laughs>